What's up guys? So today's design is going to be a TikTok splatter cake. Let's get into it. All right guys, so per usual, we're going to start off by leveling off our cake. Now you can do this with either the Wilton leveler that I'm using or a serrated bread knife. Now because of the way that I'm building this cake, we're going to cut a circle in the center of my cake layer, which I'm using my vanilla cake recipe, by the way, just in case you want to know that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put down some buttercream on my cake board and then I'm going to transfer my first layer over to the board. I'm just going to start putting on my first layer of frosting and I am using my vanilla buttercream frosting which is up on my channel so go check that video out just in case you want the recipe. And we're just going to smooth this around. You're also going to add some frosting on the inside of the circle as well. Once you're done with that, just smooth it out on the top. Now let's get into the second layer. Okay, so we're gonna start leveling that one off as well. And once we get that one leveled off, we're gonna take our round cookie cutter, cut a circle out in the center, pop that out, and then transfer our cake over. Now let's pile on the frosting. We're going to start putting on our second layer of frosting, smooth that out. Y'all know how I do. I like to put a thick layer of frosting in between my cake layers, smooth that around, and we're going to bring it down to the inside of that circle as well. Now this is where it gets interesting. Yes, we are putting nerds inside of this cake. Not just one kind, two kinds of nerds. Yes, I'm adding the nerds gummy clusters and they are lit, you can thank me later. And if that's not enough, I'm adding even more nerds to top it off. Nerds, can y'all tell I'm excited? Okay, let me bring it down because we got more work to do. We're gonna go ahead and start leveling off our final layer. And once we get this one leveled off, we will not be putting a hole in the center of this one. That was only for the first two. However, we will be flipping it upside down and then putting it on top. Now, before we start our crumb coat, we're going to take our paper straws and stick those in our cake to stabilize it. We're going to cut those down and then start putting on our frosting. Now, because this is our crumb coat layer, it doesn't need to be perfect. All you're doing is putting frosting on just so it can trap in all of those crumbs and it doesn't show up on your second layer. Now, like I said in my previous video, I prefer to start by going up the sides first and then I smooth off the top, bring it down on the sides and around my cake. But do whatever works for you. You got this. Now, I love a good clean crumb coat, but that's just me. I'm a perfectionist and I own it. So I'm gonna clean off my board and we're gonna pop this in the freezer for 10 or the refrigerator for 15. I'm gonna clean off my spatula and then start going on with my second coat. Now, the reason why you want to put your cake either in the freezer or the refrigerator for a few minutes before you go on with your next layer is because you want your frosting to be firm enough so that it won't blend together with the second layer of frosting. Now I'm just gonna start smoothing off my frosting on the top. And once we get the entire cake covered with frosting, I'm gonna take my bench scraper and start smoothing off the sides. Now I'm just gonna start cleaning off my board and we're gonna pop this back in the freezer for 10 or the refrigerator for 15. Okay, so to create the splatter design, I used white chocolate ganache and I colored half of it pink and the other half blue. I took a paintbrush and I literally flung it all over the cake in my entire kitchen, by the way. Super messy, but a lot of fun at the same time. Now I'm gonna start putting on a couple of TikTok sayings. Um, on the front, I decided to go with eat, sleep, TikTok, repeat. And then on the back, I'm gonna put Peace, love, and TikTok. I'm definitely one of those people that truly do believe social media platforms should be used to spread peace and love. Now, to finish off this design, I decided to take the remainder of my frosting and I colored half of it pink and the other half blue. Um, I used this to create a swirl design on the top of the cake. And once I got done with the top, I did decide to go ahead and start piping it around the border as well. Now, the mistake I made was starting off my um, border at the front of my freaking cake. 
You definitely want to start piping your border at the back of your cake and the reason for this is just so you can have a cleaner finish. But since I already started, I just kind of had to commit. <laughs> Lucky for me though, I did decide to add some sprinkles to the cake just to make it pop a little bit more and this allowed me to be able to cover up that gap at the front of the cake where I kind of sealed it up. Alright guys, so now I'm just topping it off with the personalized cake topper. I did have to cover up the birthday girl's TikTok name for privacy, but please comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. Bye!